everybody, Looney Farm Guy here with another mm, tutorial mm, review video. Uh, today we are looking at, as you can see, the Cauti FRC 65 and the 55. So these, uh, well, perhaps we should let the store describe it for us. Uh, here they are, the 55 and the 65. Described as a slurry container is used as an interim storage for slurry. You can fill it from other slurry tanks. Now, uh, these, well, let's go back in there. <laughs> uh, not a lot of uh, options. Uh, trying to, there we go, some tire options, not many. And color options, all of those colors, so you can match it or mismatch it to anything that you like. Uh, so, for example, I have mismatched a pink one and a purple one here. Uh, now, uh, how do you use these? So, as mentioned, they are a slurry tank. However, they do not operate like, a, for example... Uh, well, a slurry tank. Uh, it's more of a container. Um, notice they have the uh, pipes on the front and the back for uh, the... For, well, it, it, we're in console. We're on PS5, the console version, so they don't really do anything. Uh, so, <clears throat> first of all, where can you fill them from? You can fill them from... You can fill it with either digestate or slurry. Uh, here we are at the uh, biogas plant. And as you notice, my window's open. It says start filling. And there we are. We are filling with digestate. Um, this one uh, is the, uh, uh, the, no, the 65, which means you can fill it up to 65,000 liters of slurry or digestate. Uh, let's go back over here. So this one, here we go, 65,000 liters of slurry. I would recommend a large tractor to pull it or an implement of some kind that has a fair, uh, fairly high, well, upwards, anywhere from 350 and up horsepower because these are quite heavy indeed. Now... How do you use them? How do you get them in and out? So we've shown you how to fill one, and I had filled one actually from the buy anything sell point, but a cow barn will fill it. I have a cow barn on this map on another Let's Play, and it fills quite easily from the cow barn into this tanker as uh, as the window will just pop up like it did by at the biogas plant. So transferring liquids. We have a empty tank. We have an empty slurry tank here. Uh, as you can see, the uh, window has popped up L3. You press down L3 and you fill with slurry. Now notice at the bottom, start overloading slurry. So let's, uh, let's stop filling. And uh, here we have another one that pops up. The name pops up. Uh, R1 and triangle, and we unload into the tank. And thus, so you can thus now, uh, to, to pull it out again, you have to kind of leave and come back. There we go. See, it's popped up again, so refill it. So now we're refilling. We're taking it back out again. What about a tank that has slurry in it already and you have extra slurry you want to put it back in when it already has slurry in it? So, we drive back over to the other tank. So, notice both triggers come up. L3, I can refill from the slurry tank into my tank or I can unload. Unload R1 and triangle. We're putting it back into the tank. So, one word of caution with the slurry tanks that I have found so far 
you cannot uh, use this to trans. Well, you cannot empty this tank into a biogas plant. At least not yet. Uh, not the ones that are already on the map, nor the placeables. The placeable one is over there. I tried it. You cannot empty this directly into a biogas plant. You will need to transfer this into another tank and from that tank put it into the biogas plant just so you know but any of the slurry tanks if you're using it for fertilizer will dump from this into another transport tank or slurry spreader that will take slurry or digestate and that is pretty much it. That is the uh, that is the caveat to this uh, tank. It will not empty into a biogas plant. So beware of that. I hope you enjoyed this short little how-to video. And uh, please leave a like if you if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't, or if you want to see more videos like this. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's just a game. So have fun. Till next time. Bye.